Good morning everyone. Welcome back to this ugly Minnesota fall day. Rain yesterday was uh, the same way. Rain yesterday was rain all day long and uh, windy and yeah, the temperature at least yesterday it got up to the upper 40s I think. Now today it's just going to be dropping. Just kind of an ugly day out there. you guys watched the last farmhouse video which as of right now I'm editing I'm about half not even quite halfway through it I'll finish it up probably today uh, in the mudroom laundry room where we just put the tile I had mentioned that we're gonna put different wider trim in there and we decided to go with a six inch or five and a half inch trim in that video just size wise and I went and looked at the actual prices of that and even though that room only needs about 35 feet of trim, uh, I'm not paying the price. What I want is six inch, five and a half inches tall, and then you know just the wider baseboard trim, and then a design on the top, like the older farmhouses would have. And I mean, this is going to be painted white, so it can be any type of wood. And I went to different stores looking at prices, and first of all, I couldn't even find them. I mean, it could be the plastic stuff. And I couldn't even find that. And then the MDF stuff, which is supposed to be, you know, usually it was so cheap, is, I mean, it's outrageous. I mean, it was over $10 for an eight foot piece. And it's like, that's just ridiculous. It wouldn't be bad just for that room, but I, you know, Melissa and I plan on carrying that probably throughout most of the house. Some of the house we're gonna do, where the wood isn't painted, I think, it'll be stained. But even in, the, even in that case, I could still make my own trim. So yesterday I went and bought a uh, router bit here that is for molding. And I just want to see what it looks like. This will give a, if we have a five and a half inch tall board, this will give an inch and five eighths router on top. And we both looked at the design, and I think this is what we're looking for, but until I put it on a piece of board and can really look at it to see, make sure this isn't too much or too little, I'm just not sure. Slowly, I've been cleaning up in the workshop here when I have a spare minute or the want to do it. And uh, it's getting a lot better, although winter's coming, so other people will come in and use this, and uh, it'll just get dirty again. I have five or six routers, but I'm not sure if this one accepts a half inch shank or not. So I need to pull this out and see what I can do. Well, my router doesn't really want to come out very easy, so I believe that this here is my half-inch shank. Yes, it is, and I think it does screw onto this one, and I've done it before, so I think I'll just switch it out right here, and let's see what happens. with these routers, it's like I don't use them that often. Like when you get a project and you're gonna use them, you use them a lot. So I don't always exactly remember how each one works because I have several of them. But the one that I have here on the table, I really like this one for the table. It seems to have quite a bit of power. I would like to have multiple tables too, but every time I go, it's like they're so expensive. I'll wait till I find one on Marketplace or something.
to me it just like I mean it's got the ring on the top but once you go through how do you keep this from being square do you run it through with the fence and if so how do you make sure that it's gonna hit exactly where that little thing is Well, that is definitely the look that we are looking for right there. Let's try it now with the actual size trim board that I would want to use. So looking at this, it all looks good, but you can see right here, the wheel is impressioning, you know, pushing into the board. So I need to loosen that up a little bit, and then I bet you it'll go through a lot easier. Right now, I'm just uh, kind of pushing against itself. It spins the wheel now, but just barely. Well, let's see if this goes through any easier. Well, now we know how to make our own colonial base trim. It just needs to be painted white. You can see right here, now this is only 9 16 inches thick. It's laminate. It's not even the same design or anything. Eight foot long, five and a quarter tall, and they want 25 bucks for one piece. Here's another one. Now this is seven and a quarter tall, so this would be if it was the taller before I ripped it down. But it's still only nine sixteenths inch thick, and they want two dollars and forty-two cents a lineal foot for this. And here you can see now this is a one by six. It just says a white wood board, so whatever that is, and it's twelve feet long. For what does that say? Six dollars and fifteen cents. I don't even have to buy this stuff, I get it free at work because it comes on the bottom of pallets of deck boards or whatever and I save it. I've got enough at the farmhouse right now probably to do half the house, at least. So, but still, even, even without that, buying the wood and the bit cost me $45, it does not take very long to pay for itself. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. I will see you guys on the next video.